Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac, perhaps with the uh, added cerebral impediment of mononucleosis or tonsillitis or whatever it is that has decided to set up its own culture in uh, the back of my throat. If you want to know more about that, you'll have to ask your, your mother. <laughs> we ended our streak on the last run, but started a new streak as well, oh, and we're going to play as Lazarus. That actually does not bother me at all. I'm unfortunately going to have to sign out of Skype here. But there's your seed, how convenient. CWV8 GPQM. I've made this mistake so many times recently as Lazarus. Don't take the pill until after you come back to life. It could be Balls of Steel, that would help out a lot. It could be an HP upgrade, that would help out a lot. Let's try not to make that mistake here. Now, I love the fact that they're... Uh, first off, I love Attack Fly, because with shitty damage, Attack Fly can be your best friend. Uh, I also love this Blood Bank, so that we could conceivably kill ourselves for a cause. Or maybe even get a Blood Bag out of it, and if we get a Blood Bag out of it, that makes it a, a no-brainer decision to possibly, or probably, kill ourselves as Lazarus on this floor, and you know, still come back with uh, maybe even more HP than we would normally expect after it's over. And, you know, again, I don't really mind taking damage here for obvious reasons. Probably should have played that Blood Bank one more time, but not that big of a deal. Hoping to get in, like, if we get two bombs, or I guess three bombs at this point, we could get access to all of that uh, secret room booty there. I think that probably is the secret room that borders those, those two key-gated rooms, one of which is the shop, one of which is a double key room. Double key rooms are pretty risky when you only have one key. Let's ignore the fact that, you know, most of the time you probably wouldn't expect to be able to even get in. But beyond that, uh, oftentimes there are, like, more locks inside of the room. Which can be a little cumbersome to deal with. Uh, or, you know, it could just be a lot of money for a donation machine or something like that. I didn't really set out to just, like, exclusively use Attack Fly on this room. It just seemed to be one of the more convenient ways to make it happen. Let's see what we get from our boss fight, and then we'll tackle the rest of the floor. We're going to be fighting Larry Jr. and Larry Sr. Uh, if we can get Attack Fly lined up appropriately, this should be a very, very easy boss fight. Hit multiple sections of Larry Jr. at the same time, the real enemies are dead. And then... HP? HP? HP! But it's HP that doesn't actually fill up until we make it fill up. So we should be a little, uh, a little careful. I don't think it actually matters now that I think about it. Yeah, because we'll still respawn with one HP after we kill ourselves here. So this, this should be just fine. And if we get to Blood Bag, very important to just not pick it up yet. Oh! I played it once when I came back. There you go, there's a nice little nifty exploit for you. Our pill ended up being locked down. Uh, I'm still glad I, I took it as late as possible, I guess. Now, with two keys, we can get into our uh, item room. Not our item room, sorry. We can get into our shop, or we can get into our double key room. I think I'm going to make the adult decision and go into our shop. Because if I go into the double key room, it's possible we'll get nothing. It's possible we'll get something we don't want. Uh, in the shop, at least I can, I can tailor my decision. Tim the Tool Man Taylor specifically. Jonathan Tim the Tool Man Taylor Thomas, goalie for the Boston Bruins. Former goalie for the Boston Bruins. My mistake. Kind of hoping that we got to at least 14 cents here, and we did, so I could play the uh, I could play the Blood Bank once, possibly get HP out of it, thanks to old bandage or just the Blood Bag payout. But uh, we'll see what's in the shop. We'll see if that's actually warranted first. Inside of the shop, we got. Compass BFF, as well as a Spirit Heart. I think we got to make the adult decision again, buy the Spirit Heart, and then I guess we'll buy the Compass, and I wouldn't mind, uh, I mean this sincerely, I wouldn't mind getting a Blood Bank on the next floor, so let's try this once. I was really hoping Old Bandage would pay out, it didn't. We'll have three cents for the next floor. I'm feeling relatively good about this, but... You know, there, there's no question that this is a bit of a weird situation, but we have 2 HP as Lazarus with the Spirit Heart to back us up. It's pretty nice. Hopefully we'll be able to swing uh, a deal with the Devil on the next floor. Attack Fly is pretty good, too. This deal with the Devil is going to be uh, an important part of our overall ecosystem on this run. If we can if we can manage to swing it, we should be dead. Oh, I was worried about that spider, but Attack Fly was like in the perfect position there. Alrighty. I thought this would be the right way to get to the uh, boss fight right away, by the way. My mistake. 
Also, I just realized we have Curse of the Unknown, which is extremely annoying, but that is a great situation. If we can just get uh, one bomb, we can get seven cents for that bomb and whatever is in that uh, tinted rock, which could be, worst case scenario, it's a golden chest, so it's a pretty good situation one way or the other. Good enough to almost make me not want to use my first key to get into the item room, and instead I could use it to uh, get into the shop and buy a bomb, maybe. But we'll see, we're, we're coming pretty close to the boss fight here, so I'll, I'd rather have something for that boss fight than nothing. We did pick up a little bit of HP, which is nice. And there's our bomb, so we actually can probably guilt-free go to our item room now that we actually have a bomb. Good timing on that. And we'll get Unicorn Horn, which is decent at the very least. Good for blood banks. Um, well, good for a lot of different things if we're being 100% honest, isn't it? Two extra spirit hearts. Uh, very good for boss fights as well. So we picked up two spirit hearts, which allows us uh, to pretty much guilt-free go to that curse room a little bit later. There's another tinted rock right there. And the monstro fight. So I'm thinking you probably avoid using unicorn horn until you get, like, the perfect timing here. So in fact, why don't we actually... I might want to use unicorn horn to actually save us from taking a little bit of damage on the curse room. I know that sounds like a little bit of a... You know, a very, very conservative approach to using Unicorn Horn, but I'm not going to take damage against against Monstro, so what's the point? It would speed up the fight just the slightest bit. We're stuck with the Coin Purse, unfortunately. Uh, I don't want to take these yet. One of these is a lockdown. I don't want to take them yet because I want to see what's in here. We could always telepills away accidentally. We have 2 HP, but a decent number of Spirit Hearts. I think we have to take both of these. This will not kill me. There was a, a case to be made... Yeah, we can't use that. There was a case to be made for only taking Guppy's Paw and then getting extra Spirit Hearts. But I want the Guppy item and Sacrificial Dagger plus Unicorn Stump is great for us. Let's try our pills now. That's not good. That's not good. Uh, so I guess we'll stick with our Puberty Pill. Am I actually going to go to the Curse Room now? I mean, I really would like to. As we are... Uh on the guppy warpath, as we often are. We'll see. I, I have to have at least two and a half spirit hearts, I think. That could have been pretty quickly eroded right there. And, like, full-on orbital run scares the shit out of me because I know myself. And I know myself well enough to know that I uh, have a tendency to take damage in some situations where maybe I shouldn't be taking damage. Hoping to get, like, a key or something out of this. Oh, this is actually pretty good as well. Please, God, give me an HP upgrade. I'm giving you 12 cents. That should give you like a 60, you know, maybe like a two-thirds chance to pay out. And it did. Thank you very much for that. We'll head in. And uh, two spirit hearts here. So you know what? I'm just going to take the full spirit heart loss on the chin. And maybe on the next floor we'll find a better use for unicorn horn. But I should be using it more often. There's no question about that. That HP upgrade... Whew, that HP upgrade payout is actually extraordinary for us. Very helpful. Why well, take the puberty pill? I mean, I should take luck down, then if we get the PhD, it becomes luck up. Okay, we'll get the pentagram. At this point, I'm being kind of frozen by inaction, you know? I'm not taking the, uh... I'm not using the unicorn stump. Unicorn horn, I should say, which I really, really have no excuse not to. Except that I think that maybe one day we'll, we'll want to use it on a room, and that'll save us some problems. So let's just use it and, you know, get our money's worth out of it. Thank you. And we'll work our way over here to uh, to the boss fight, I guess, because, oh, this would have been a much better room for it, but whatever. I probably wouldn't have used it on this room anyway. Um, I, uh, I think I'm going to make my way to the boss fight. Pretty good chance for a deal with the devil now that we picked up the pentagram. It almost nullifies the, I believe it's a 75% chance uh, down. In, in vanilla it wasn't, but I thought I remember seeing a post. This is how I end up being, like I say all the time, patient zero for misinformation in Rebirth, but... I I remember a post that it was 75% less chance of a deal with the devil the floor after you get a deal with the devil. Don't necessarily quote me on that, do your own independent research. However, that's the mathematical assumption that I'm going to operate under here. This could be amazing. So, Pentagram with its 35% chance, uh, increased chance I should say, of getting a deal with the devil on each floor doesn't necessarily nullify it, but it basically halves the penalty. Which is pretty good. Good enough for me to write home about, for sure, and that's shitty damage, but oh well. 
Still doing pretty well on Spirit Hearts here. Let's hope for a good item or a guppy item. Or just Krampus is fine by me. Uh, this... We don't have a lot of HP, so I'm not going to be too mad about this, but I hope that some of these pills turn out half decent. Tears down and pheromones. So, no, they did not. <laughs> that being said, Headless Baby is a uh, totally decent pickup. Relatively happy to have it. Make our way down here to the item room. Headless Baby not going to be uh, immediately too useful here. Hopefully our item room makes this floor feel like a little bit less of a... You know, a bit of wasted potential. Oh, that's perfect. Flat Penny is uh, one of the best trinkets in the game if you are low on keys. Definitely fills a need. You know what? We used it on the last kind of floor of this type. Let's use it on this floor as well. And we've actually got, you know, kind of a nice unicorn horn run right now. The mind is so good. Very happy to have it. Um, we got a nice unicorn horn run. We got an orbital in the form of Sacrificial Dagger, one of the best offensive orbitals for sure. And then we have Headless Baby for some creep. That, I sort of don't think that hit me, but I'm not gonna be that guy. Um, and we have another orbital in the form of Attack Fly, so we got a lot of stuff that's really good for crashing straight into enemies. Now we just need like Poison Touch and, uh, you know, Midas Touch and stuff like that, and then we will be uh, completely set there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Goathead is amazing. We don't need to talk about our deal with the devil percentages any longer. Hopefully we can just get a couple of half decent items out of them. And this definitely makes this room very worthwhile. I was kind of hoping for Spirit Hearts, but now I feel like uh, kind of an idiot for hoping for Spirit Hearts because we got something substantially better. Now I should probably not be standing so close to these enemies, even with our orbitals. This is a recipe for potential disaster. I will uh, I'll do everything in my power here to hopefully pick up... Ooh, careful, careful, careful. I'll do everything in my power here to hopefully pick up some more Spirit Hearts. Because it does look like our HP is going to be kind of a, a lingering problem for us on this run. We've done some good stuff about our uh, our damage with the Pentagram pickup, but the HP is still not looking too good. Maybe an Eternal Heart in that second secret room would help us out a lot. That's, you know, one of the hugest values of, uh, of the mind for sure. I want to get one more bomb, and then after that I'll use a bomb to uh, to blow up the slot machine, because I, I feel like blowing up the slot machine will probably give me money, which will probably give me keys thanks to Flat Penny. So I should uh, do it, because I'm low on keys, but I want to be able to blow up our second secret room entrance as well. Just shoot all this, because like one penny could completely change our equilibrium here. I'll tell you what, uh, let's let's blow up the slot machine. Either the slot machine or this little lucky so-and-so up here must give us a penny. Yeah, okay, so this should give us at least a couple of keys. We got three of them and an extra bomb. And enough money to actually make our shop worthwhile. This is a good situation. We've slowed down a lot, but still, this is it's a lot more comfortable now. I really like Champion Belt, man. Like, I'm a, I'm a big fan. And I'm not just using that to make the obvious joke. Unfortunately, we can't buy another bomb in here. So I have to choose, do I want the Spirit Heart or do I want Champion Belt? And I think I'm going to go with Champion Belt. And then, um... We might not be able to get that Spirit Heart, but I'll, I'll take the raw damage up over the Spirit Heart, I guess. Especially when we, re re blah. we recently got a Tears Downgrade. Okay, these pills. I can see forever. Uh, sort of useful. 48 hour energy. Luck up, that's very good. And speed down, that's terrible. So we can take I Can See Forever or Pheromones. I Can See Forever is a little better for us. Um, we've already been to those rooms and we'll uh, we'll head downwards. Really, really hoping for maybe like a 9 lives pickup on the next floor would nullify pretty much all of my HP concerns. So we take the I Can See Forever pill basically to save ourselves a bomb. And we will not have an arcade on this floor, unfortunately. I really did not think that was going to explode. I thought it was going to go right by me. My bad though. Do we know any of these? Luck up is great. Pheromones. I can see forever again. Alright, we'll hold on to pheromones. And then we'll immediately use pheromones. I'm a little nervous, man. Um, it's getting a little, a little scary down here. Shouldn't have to use Unicorn Horn on this room, but if we do, you know, there's no shame in it. Okay. I walked over the spike. That's on me. No greed, please. No greed. PhD would be awesome. No spirit heart, man. 
Don't walk on the spike. Don't walk on the spike. <laughs> Ooh, this is gonna be one of those runs, is it? Well, I'll go back for that. Most important thing is just don't walk on the spikes. Don't get hit by a champion, don't walk on the spikes. If we hold true to those axioms, we should be fine. We'll, uh, we'll take a crack at our item room. Before going to the boss fight, just in case it's the worst boss fight. And, you know, as much as I, uh, I'm nervous here, I'm not really that nervous because I know that we have a deal with the devil chance. And by chance, I mean guarantee. So, there's a huge chance that we, we get something that we're really happy about. Anything that gives us HP is worth picking up, and there's a lot of deal with the devil items like that. Ceremonial robes, mark packed, nine lives. Abaddon at this point would be insanely important if it managed to show up, which I doubt it, but you know, in in aggregate, that's a lot of chances here. Book of Revelations is a huge pickup right now, and this should guarantee maybe Oh no, it, it won't guarantee that we fight a, a horseman boss because we already had spawned like a double boss room, I think. Yeah, we're gonna be fighting double widow, which is actually a pretty easy draw, all things considered. We'll try to keep them at uh, fly's length here. And that's going to make it pretty easy to finish the job. And this could be an amazing, uh, amazing deal with the devil here. Nine lives would mean so much to me. But anything that gives me HP, I'm not going to sneeze at. Including, like, HP from the boss, but uh, clearly that's not possible. I think we got to go for it, man. we got to take Whore of Babylon here. It's such a huge damage increase. But again, it puts us in a, a very dangerous situation right away. I think the way that we come out of this one, and by the way, I have to say thank you to the game for giving us even the opportunity to make this happen, but the way that we come out of this one is we uh, buy a battery charge in here, which there was one for sale, and then we'll immediately just pop that. And then we'll try to do all of these rooms without walking on any of the spikes, which is obviously easier said than done. That's I can see forever. Okay, um, I do want to go to the curse room as well, but that's that's kind of like a luxury that we can't necessarily afford yet. Yeah, this is uh, it's a dangerous situation, but I'm hoping for spirit hearts even more so maybe than a, a guppy item directly. I'm hoping for spirit hearts on this uh, fight, and it could happen. Bad start, bad, very very bad start. All right, let's let's play it cool here. I still, even if we end up dying on this uh, situation, and that's completely conceivable, I do think that Whore of Babylon was the right choice. I think it'll just be spoiled by poor play if I end up dying. This is one of those situations where I think strategically we, we're, we're probably, oh, that's, that's pretty good though. Strategically, we're probably in the right, but mechanically, I might just be playing really, really badly. But this is, uh, you know, this is the fun part of Isaac, you know, is trying to take these these situations where uh, it looks dire and, and turning them into something a little bit uh, a little bit beautiful. I didn't really want to use my bomb there, but at the same time, you know, we've, we've got to survive. The collision on the eyes is one of my very few pet peeves in the game. They just seem to be, like, they have thicker kind of collision boxes than you would expect. I think, at least, and I oftentimes find myself uh, getting hit by them in situations where I don't necessarily think I actually was, but that's, it is what it is, it's fine. Yeah, we'll open this for sure. Oh, man, okay. So this will ruin Horror of Babylon, but now we can fly, which is pretty important. Spikes are no longer that dangerous. Are we going to try this floor? We're going to try to, you know, finagle a, a victory, or at least like one more spirit heart from this floor? Absolutely, I think... You know, we, we don't want to take the risk that the next floor gets harder. Admittedly, I don't remember whether or not uh, we will actually be able to survive one more hit as a result of the fact that we have uh, an eternal heart now. On the on the womb, that's how it works, but... Fuck up, that's pretty good. Uh, that, that judgment is unfortunately not really going to be playable. Now, the fade pickup is so huge... Even though it might ruin Whore of Babylon, at least we have Whore of Babylon for the future, potentially. Bony scares the shit out of me here. We could actually- Oh, I didn't even see this gentleman down here! Um... We, uh... 
Or th that guy up there. I also didn't know they could go directly over doors, but... Um, we're one room away after this guy dies of getting another spirit heart. Which is pretty sweet. Oh man, I would have killed for that to be a guppy item. But we're still looking pretty good. Is it worth doing one extra room right now? I think it's worth doing one extra room right now, yeah. Then we can decide if we want to do the curse room and be like the ultimate idiots. This is a relatively easy big room, and I, I, I don't want to say that necessarily because it just makes the stakes even higher if I end up getting killed, but... Uh, it looks like we'll probably be totally fine here. Again, you know, if you wanted to play super try hard, it is best to uh, destroy... Should we blow that up? Might be able to get some money and thus some keys out of it. Oh! Oh! Oh, it worked! Okay. We're guppy now. Um, it's best to take petrified poop and then shoot the poop, then come back with flat penny, but I'm not gonna do it. Two pills. They're both luck upgrades. I would say this is probably worth it, but it's a bit of a risky call. Now we're guppy, though, so it should be relatively set. It's still hanging on the razor's edge a little bit here. There's no question about that. But uh, I, I think those guppy pickups are going to make this conceivable, if, if not uh, more likely than the alternative, which is nice. And we'll do the thing we've always been doing and, and pop uh, I Can See Forever here. No extra special tier effects for us yet, so uh, we should be able to spawn a, a ton of flies here. Chubb is hard countered pretty hard by uh, the Headless Baby, which is nice. And then, of course, we're creating flies on occasion, which is helpful as well. Not really as many as I'd like, but that's because our rate of fire sucks. No arcade on this floor either, which is not unexpected. Hopefully we get the chance to trade away uh, some of our HP on our inevitable deal with the devil. Although I have to imagine at this point we're probably looking pretty likely for like a guppy, or not a guppy, but a, um, a Krampus fight in exactly what I predicted would happen would happen. That doesn't make me clairvoyant or, or anything like that, it's just... Uh, Someone who's played far too much Rebirth and can feel the Krampus vibes coming, man. Unfortunately, I'm not really a huge fan of Krampus' head. But I guess we just got all the stuff in that uh, room for free, so I'm not too mad about that. Definitely our shop is of the utmost importance on this floor now that we've got the money for it. Should probably just stay as far away from enemies as possible. Individual flies doing enough to one-shot these nubs, it looks like. Or maybe against the champions to shot them, but still, that's really good. And there's a greed fight there, so we know we're not going to be fighting greed on our shop, which is a, actually a, quite a nice little bit of peace of mind. With Guppy's Tail, I'm actually super happy and, and content to stick with uh, Flat Penny here. You never know how many golden chests we're going to get, especially as our luck stat ends up increasing. And this is going to give us an opportunity to get back in the Horror of Babylon state. It's not a super reliable way to do so, but uh, I'm, I'm happy to do it regardless. And we could farm that up a little bit more if we wanted to, but... I don't know if I want to be worrying too much about Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch here. Instead, I kind of want to just worry about, you know... Mark and the sensible adult decisions. Guppy's Head is it's a great item. Occasionally, I get accused of underrating it. I think it's really good. Maybe I do underrate it relative to something like Tammy's Head or Krampus' Head. Um, just to be on the safe side, we'll take that. And then we'll leave. I'll donate a, a little bit of money here. There you go. That, that's as much as I can afford to anyway. Um, and I didn't mean to buy that key, but I did mean to buy the red heart so we can come back here to our uh, blood bank and do something. And immediately we just get another red heart. So I'm not super thrilled about that, but that's alright. If it pays out, it pays out. For now, I'm just hoping uh, to pick up maybe a few extra keys in the process. Old Bandage occasionally giving us some extra red hearts anyway. And I'm happy to have uh, the Horror of Babylon stay back. Alright, let's do this. We have an item room and a curse room down here. I will come down for those. Uh, you might be saying, why go to the curse room now that you don't need to become guppy anymore like you've already become super guppy. I still like the idea of getting, uh, you know, Mark, ceremonial robes, etc, etc. Anything that we can get uh, out of these is awesome. And plus, they just often pay out with uh, two spirit hearts, two black hearts, or occasionally even more. That's, you know, very occasionally, but it does happen. 
Just wanted to check these out for uh, cards or black hearts. And there you go. That was well worth it. Yeah, this it, our HP is looking strong enough that uh, I'm not really concerned about this run at all. And I really, really uh, appreciate that, actually, after how... Uh, not horrible, but at how dangerous things looked at the start here. How, how they looked at the outset. It didn't look like it was going to be a guaranteed one run for very long here. It looked like a loss was pretty much just waiting in the wings. Terrible damage for me to get hit by that, but... Um, I, I guess it's okay. I'll, I'll feel okay about it anyway. Probably didn't need to put that there then. Joker card is, is basically worthless. I know that this is poor form, but I'm going to do it anyway out of laziness. We'll just take our extra Spear of the Heart, even though we were pretty close to a charge anyway. I'll use the Degas rune just to get that out of the way. We have a Stars card. Don't worry, guys. Boss Rush is, is fundamentally impossible, so you shouldn't be sweating that too much. Awaz rune. Just get the host gone. Awaz rune could give us a black market. It did not. That's pretty much the norm. Wow, just losing Spirit Hearts like crazy in this room. Harlequin Baby is, uh, at best, decent. We have the Moon, which we already can get into the rooms for free. The Stars, the Lovers, and, uh, the Joker. So I think in this situation, we, we take the Joker and, and use it for the Cathedral. Tammy's Head. Speak of the Devil, and it shall appear. Terrible, terrible damage on my part. This is why I'm happy to have Flat Penny. We, uh... Got a, quite a lot of uh, golden chest to open on that room, but we're still doing fine. Tammy's head is great, but I think with the way I'm playing, you know, you got to know yourself. And I'm I'm playing pretty badly mechanically right now, so I would I would like to, or I, at least I would feel most comfortable if I managed to keep uh, my defense first item here. You know, the ability to kind of insulate myself from taking as much damage as I've been taking. I think it's it's uh, an important kind of indicator here. So we will probably stick up, or stick up? We will probably pick up a uh, cube of meat or a ball of bandages here. Let's just take this right away. I am i don't really have too much of a preference one way or the other. I don't know how we knocked that out of this chasm here. We got here two of clubs, I'll take it. Magician, I'll use it just to get it off of the floor. Hermit, lovers, again. Could save a key with some of these, but it's not really that big of a deal. Puberty pill, Joker card. Joker card's still the best out of all of those. Even with the goat head, the Joker card still has uh, some nearly objective uses. We'll just keep exploring here. We know that there's a Krampus's head in the boss fight, so if we could get like a... Uh, not in the boss fight, sorry, in the deal with the devil. If we can get like a Perthrow rune, though, that would be... A really convenient way to use it. Pretty unlikely though, and that's actually a very welcome supply of bombs here. As mentioned, uh, we are going to be fighting a horseman here, and war should go down pretty easily. We'll pick up ball of bandages and just walk in here to check and make sure I didn't miss anything, and then down to the next floor. It's all good. Uh, hopefully, maybe we pick up some more spirit arts on this floor. That's what this floor is going to be good for. Curse of the Blind. Uh, Scary a little bit because we could always like soy milk ourselves or something like that. I've got nipples Greg. Could you soy milk me? Doesn't really make any sense Maybe a like gluttony boss fight super envy Ugh. Half tempted to joker card out of here right now, but with guppy it should be relatively easy and uh, Well, we're not gonna gain anything of value out of this But it's something man Super Envy needs to have like a 1 in 5 chance of paying out with like an Eternal Heart or something to make it, uh... To make you not just go, uh, Super Envy every time you go into it. Or maybe that's what they want, I don't know. Mission accomplished so far. Very poor damage on my part. And I have not been, uh... I have not been the bastion or bulwark of, of great defense on this run, there's just no question about that. Let's try to stop taking so much dumb damage, because pretty soon we're going to be uh, penalized doubly for those. Can we have like a, a change.org petition? Don't actually do this. Can we have a change.org petition hypothetically to change penalized? Either change the word or change the meaning, because it always conjures these gross images in my head. We got uh, Loki last? No, the husk. I should have known that, actually. We've been fighting this room a lot lately. I mean, we didn't actually get that much of value out of it, but uh, I'm happy it's done, at least. 
We have our item room on the left side, so we will come visit that, and then we'll use our Joker card. Uh, sorry, no, we won't use a Joker card. Then we'll go fight the boss. And we'll use our Joker card on uh, the Cathedral, which is pretty much the best time to use it if you have the Goat Head. Either that or the chest, but I still think the Cathedral is, is basically objectively better, because then if you get a good card on the rest of the Cathedral, you can take it with you. It's a weird layout for a room. You don't see it all that often. Oh, this room. This is another kind of weird layout for a room that I hate. I really, really dislike these enemies. If you have to get close to them to hit them, it's even worse. But luckily, we have some flies that can allow us to stay at a reasonable distance. I don't mind Curse of the Blind Bob's Brain. Uh, I kind of dislike Curse of the Blind Thunder Thighs, but it does allow us to crush these skulls for free. It's super annoying, though, because now we are out of our Horror Babylon state. And we have no, uh, no blood bank, apparently, on this floor to do uh, anything about that. Still, there's the chance that this will pay out for us in a disproportionately positive way, so uh, let's, let's try to, you know, think positively about that. HP upgrade never hurt. Well, I mean, literally, that is what hurt us in this situation, but ignore that. <laughs> Still, uh, with Goathead, we should expect... That was dumb of me. We should expect to deal with the devil at this point, and that deal with the devil could uh, allow me to trade away these two red hearts. I'm going to save some bombs and just crush all this. It's not always a good decision. In fact, it might never be a good decision, but we've done it anyway. Speed down, puberty, luck down. Wow, what a fantastic turn of events. Inside of our shop, no greed, thankfully. The Bible, just glad to get it out of the rotation. Mom's key is unbelievably fantastic, and we'll pick up another spirit heart to compensate for my idiocy in losing like five spirit hearts against the mushrooms. Who are not actually an enemy. But it sounds like a great name for like an a cappella group. Okay, so this is going to be our second secret room. I wouldn't wouldn't mind an eternal heart, but we'd have to think about it. A black heart is a much easier decision, no question about it. Alright, so first things first, get mom's brain, or Bob's brain, not mob's brain, out of there. Then, whenever mom's foot touches the ground, run the fudge into it. And Sacrificial Dagger will basically do all your dirty work for you. That is very stupid of me, but the fight's already over. We definitely want the Polaroid, and please God, let me trade. Ah, beautiful. Okay, so we'll take the one in the middle. Demon Baby's fine, and then we'll take the one on the left. Death's Touch, pretty much exactly what I was hoping for there. Still firing quite slowly, but uh, this allows us to go into the Horror of Babylon state. It's all good. Still not a guaranteed win yet. But we're, we're, we're making really good progress. And Death's Touch Guppy is, is as close to a one run as you can get. Really, we just need more Spirit Hearts. We'll check out our secret room, but I'm going to come around the other side of it first. Just because this is the right way to get to our boss fight. And now I'm not going to worry so much about, uh, you know, going to every single room. Oh, such, such awful damage. Mostly just going to concern myself with... Uh, Getting ourselves to that boss fight. And you know what? I think on this room, I may actually just let my bombs do what bombs do. And even if we end up wasting a couple of bombs or missing a couple of mushrooms, that's fine by me. Got a luck upgrade out of that one. Luckily, safety cap is, is totally fine. Luck down. Alright, this is absolutely okay. Easy enough room. Uh, probably not worth Oh, with Mom's Key, it might be worth it, but... I'd much prefer if it were a golden chest. Let's just put it that way. I mean, we'll check out our second secret room, just because it should be relatively easy to beat the room in advance of it, and maybe, um... get something of value here. Probably just blow it up. I mean, we could get, uh... A spirit heart out of it, or multiple spirit hearts, or a better trinket out of it. Now that I think about it, I've talked myself out of blowing it up, but it's a little bit too late, isn't it? Okay, we got Bob's brain. Try to, like, just sequester it. <laughs> Put it on, like, a different part of the map. And there's a free spirit heart, which is awesome. And uh, five keys don't hurt either. Preferably a second level bandage girl here. Wouldn't mind it. No BFF, but still damage is damage, you know, and a little bit of charm shot as well. 
Uh, three of these bad boys for Judas's Shadow. I'm gonna say no to that one, actually. I think our spirit arts are more valuable in our own hands right now. And we're just gonna make our way over here, skipping the, uh, skipping the secret room, which admittedly, you know, could give us Skeleton Key or the Ankh or Raw Liver or something like that. However, I might not even want Raw Liver in, in this situation, but anyway. The, there's no doubt the secret room could pay out with something good, but uh, I, I don't really want to risk it. Are we going to check out that area down there with the mini boss? Honestly, I think not. I think considering how far away it is, I'm, I'm better off... Uh, maybe not necessarily better off ignoring it, but I'm going to ignore it. We picked up a kind of a lucky spirit art there. I wasn't fully paying attention to whether or not they were tinted rocks down there, but it turns out there was one. This run is looking increasingly like a one run, but weirdly enough, I'm hesitant to call it. Um, and that that's weird, because sometimes I'll call a one run on like the start screen. Confidence not necessarily at an all-time high here, I guess. But we should be able to... Should be able to pull out a win here. I'd be surprised. I, mean, I wouldn't necessarily be surprised to salvage a loss from this win, but uh, I think we're probably in a pretty good position. Uh, don't even want that. And we're at the uh, HP cap as well, so... We are about to get one more deal with the devil immediately on the next floor, which is really exciting. And if it ends up being uh, like a super game-winning item, that would be crazy. But, you know, it might be nice to just get like a quietly game-winning item like, uh, like Dark Bum, for example. Dark Bum could pretty much seal the deal for us if it isn't sealed already. And then on the chest, I don't really care what we get. Like, we already have the mine, so if you know, Black Candle would be awesome, so we didn't have to deal with this horse shit, but... Ah! Uh, nine lives. Unfortunately, I think I'm in the Nick camp right here, and I think nine lives is actually probably worse for us than it is better at this point. Nine lives would ruin our whore Babylon state. And uh, push a few spirit hearts or one spirit heart out of our uh, out of our HP bar right now. So I'm not that excited about the possibility of doing that. Don't really want broken remote. Don't really want a speed downgrade. Don't really want the lover's card. But uh, we'll we got to take something. And the tears downgrade sucks too. I guess there's one spirit heart just kind of waiting for us out there. Uh, now that I've been hit, it's not so much of an issue, but. Uh, Oh yeah, now it is. Okay, so we'll we'll come back out here and figured we might as well check this out and it ended up being a really good decision actually. We'll pick up the spirit heart on the ground and then we'll use uh Book of Revelations whenever we have to or whenever we uh we feel the need. That extra uh damage from ceremonial robes is going to be great. Tier stat still kind of sucks really bad. We can probably now afford to get rid of a uh, flat penny trickle battery or <laughs> My brain doesn't work, I'm sorry. Blame the adenovirus. But, um... Yeah, the, the AAA battery is a much better choice for us here. We're already at the HP cap, but we're also probably already way past the number of keys that we'll need in order to max out our potential on the, uh, on the chest. The one exception to that would be if we manage to uh, find a key beggar on the chest, which can happen. I mean, we have the mine, so we're gonna find the secret room. Once you find the secret room, it's probably like a one in ten chance, maybe, to find the key beggar. It's not that ridiculous. Small rock, small rock. Two spirit hearts, still pretty good. If only we can get like the actual battery. A little bit more defensive kind of clout for us. That's okay though. Uh, I'll pick up the money, you know, you never know if maybe we get, uh, now I don't have to say, you know, oh, maybe we'll get money equals power. I can actually say maybe we'll get money equals power or Midas Touch, because Midas Touch is the other item that gives you a huge benefit the more money you have, so. And I'm glad that there's other items like that in the game. If you're, if you're not familiar, Midas Touch gives you, uh, contact damage equal to the, uh, exact amount of sense that you have. So, you know, 70 cents equals 70 contact damage, which is not insignificant. Which is to say, it's significant. So, the more money you have, the more useful it actually is. Mind you, the odds of it showing up are probably quite low, but if it does, it does, man. We'll be happy to have it. Alright, 
Well, I, I don't want to state the obvious, but one of these ways has to be the correct way. <laughs> I believe that there is probably a correct way to go on this boss fight is basically what I'm getting at here. And there it is. Should be a relatively easy finish here, and then we'll be on to the chest where, you know, odds are we're not going to get the same curse that we just had, so it should be a little easier for us to find the... Uh, to find the boss fight, and this is actually a very, very quick finish here against this version of Isaac. I'm happy about it. Might as well use Book of Revelations once. And we could do some funky stuff with Sacrificial Dagger. I don't necessarily love the idea when we're so close to winning anyway. But if we get hit, we've got a huge advantage for permanent Polaroid invincibility. Alright, and it's times like this I'd like to mention, hello Kate, how's it going? Hi. What's up? You just checking in to say hello? Yeah. All right, that's good. I'm glad to hear it. Uh, Dead Onion doesn't really help. You're freaking me out, girl. What are you doing there? Get, she's just like, she's got the door cracked and just like her eye is in the, the frame. It's freaking me the hell out, man. But it is times like this when it's worth noting, you know, we were one hit away from death not so long ago. So it feels like we got carried, but we didn't really get carried until past the point where it's acceptable to be mad about it, I think. Well, no key beggar, so... And also no, uh, no Midas Touch, so I think we can probably... just put the kibosh on that, but, uh... We are very, very nearly done here. And I will go drink a hot tea and, uh... persuade my doctor to give me some antiviral drugs, and then we'll be back with another episode shortly thereafter. I don't want to take that. How many times does that happen? Where the Halo shows up with Horror of Babylon? It seems like it happens every fucking time I get Horror of Babylon. Shouldn't be complaining, like an, a tiers... I mean, it's an all stats up, but a tiers plus damage statistical upgrade may actually comp... Oh, yeah. May actually compensate for the lo the loss of Horror of Babylon, or it may not, but I just, I just resent having to make the choice to begin with. You know what? We've got such crazy permanent Polaroid invincibility. Let's just finish the job here. That's a Lazarus win. I always like to see it. We'll be back with an Eden run next. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.